this is true. God did command the children of Israel oftentimes to destroy man, woman, and child. But the question is this, guys. Why would God commission such a heinous act? Well, first and foremost, guys, we got to acknowledge that God did not call the children of Israel just to destroy another nation. He called the children of Israel to destroy a wicked people, a people who belong and who are influenced by the wicked one, the devil himself. They did not destroy the peoples concerning whom the Lord had commanded them, but they mingled with the Gentiles. And they learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare to them. They even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons, the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus they were defiled by their own works and played the harlot by their own deeds. So clearly what we see is God is dealing with a wicked people, a people who are shedding innocent blood and destroying their own sons and daughters, sacrificing their own sons and daughters. They were a people who were rebellious against God. Every imagination and intent of their heart was wicked towards God and towards God's people and towards their own sons and daughters. So what does God do? God calls and commissions his people to unleash his wrath upon a godless nation. Hence why God will permit the destruction of every man, woman, and child who's in violation to the command and the righteousness that God had prescribed and ordained on this earth. So all God did was literally call his people out to execute his wrath upon sinners. Another reason why God commissioned his people to wipe out these nations, these nations were becoming an influence on God's chosen people. When the Lord your God cuts off from before you the nations which you go to dispose and you displace them and you dwell in their land, take heed to yourself that you are not ensnared to follow them after they are destroyed from before you and that you do not inquire after their gods saying, how did these nations serve their gods? I also will do likewise. So God is very clear, very clear guys, in regards to why is it that he has called his people to destroy these nations and the reason why guys is clearly because of the massive influence that they may have and what they actually did have upon the children of Israel he does not desire his people to address him and approach him the same way that these wicked nations address their false gods by burning their children on the altar and by committing all sorts of abominations that is not God's will or desire. And because God is good, he needs to cleanse the earth of that which is evil. He needs to solidify justice, the same thing that we all want God to do. And that is why God chose to wipe out these nations in order that the earth may be cleansed and filled with righteousness and godly influence in order to impact generations to come. Another reason why God commissioned his people to destroy these nations is because he prophesied in the scriptures that one day these nations were going to rise up against the children of God. It shall be in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Now this is Zechariah prophesying about the nations, the surrounding nations that would one day come and oppose Judah, oppose Jerusalem, oppose the people of God and seek to destroy them. And God is literally saying, these are the sort of things that ultimately happen when we do not rid the world of this evil that is on display. So he's literally right from the jump commissioning his people to cut the head of the serpent off before the serpent actually attacks. This is God being proactive rather than reactive. And this is what he's trying to teach his people. And this is how we ought to deal with sin. Just because something seems small and innocent doesn't mean it's small and innocent. We got to deal with it right there at the root before it devours us. And this is the reason why, another reason why, why God says, hey, rid the world of evil so that you are not destroyed. So God unleashes his wrath on wicked people and wicked nations because of their sin. God unleashes his wrath on those who seek to influence the people of God to stray away from God. And God unleashes his wrath on people who will conspire one day to destroy 
and to devour all that is good and pure. Hence, God is just, yes, and God is good.